My parts are in there. Do you know what's really super American? Bald eagles. But that's not what we have. However, if a bald eagle were to buy a t-shirt to wear, this would be the one. A bald eagle cannot wear a t-shirt of a bald eagle. He would definitely wear this. So maybe next we do a bald eagle shirt and the skull wears it. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. But right now, this is what's available. So, again, this serves a purpose, guys. Front piece, access for all, save our dunes. That's going to be pertinent to any riding area because they're all in danger. Boom! That's right. Dandyoffroad.com, also on YouTube, is where you can purchase your very own American t-shirt. If you're American, you should get one. If you love bald eagles, which who doesn't love bald eagles? Get one for your favorite bald eagle. He would totally wear this. Okay, if you guys are interested in getting one of these t-shirts, go to dandyoffroad.com, just like the last time. This is going to be posted up on page one so that you can find it and access it easily. What's going on over here? Drinking water. It's hot. <laughs> That's vodka, not water. Uh, uh oh, don't look at that. What's going on, Danny? I'm actually putting some shoes. I forgot to back in when we put the heat on. That's weird. Yeah, imagine that. That's so. That's what you're doing today. Putting shoes no, on that is not floor. what we are doing today. Yeah. What today are we, we are sitting aside, doing nothing. No. Um, we are putting in. Extension. We're putting in a bunch of noise. <laughs> That's weird. You and extensions, huh? Uh, we are putting an intake plenum on. Extends or extension? Intake plenum. Intake plenum and, like and fuel oil. Yeah, the one over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what about what else you done? Uh, and we are putting the bed delete. Yeah, on. and we would have a whole video on bed deletes, but I mean, it's uh, it's Almost these on. it's these two parts right here. And the rest of the video would be taking the bed out, and I think you can do that. I think so. All right. So what do we got right here? This is the big stuff. Hold the eye back screen. Well, it doesn't come that way. I had a little fancy green pin and colored it. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I know. How about that? I figured. You I know. don't. You know. I don't know what it is with people in green, but. <laughs> and then shorter. Let me see. What is it? What do we got? Tell me about it. ASR fuel reel. Yeah. And Ibex Velocity. And Ibex Velocity. It's about half the price of the other, the other guys. All right. We'll be right back. So we're going to uh, throw this new intake and fuel rail in. Why the fuel rail? Uh, because I've read where people have problems with the fuel rail busting because they're plastic with the, at the tip. Yep, I've had multiple people tell me that... Uh, Razor and the Can-Am should have the fill rail replaced with this billet aluminum one. That's and a billet? Probably people, well, you know. Yeah. Let's do this thing. Right. Uh, Put on. We'll show you the important parts and we'll time lapse the rest. What do you got, what, what, what are the important parts? What do you gotta do here? Basically t start taking the part and hope I know what I'm doing. Oh, uh, well that's simple. There's the first problem. Yeah. Actually, we've done this In already. In the dark. Yeah, we've done it in, in the, the dark, dark in the sure. sand. Yeah, in the sand, in the dark, in the sand, and and Danny's had this one off too. So luckily we got Rob here, so he knows what. Yeah, he can stuff. do it in the dark. I can the hold sand. the light for something. you. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> we we got Andy to do most of it actually. I think. Yeah. Oh, Andy did, huh? Yeah. Why don't we have Andy here then? Exactly, Andy rocks. We'll have to put a little uh, link to his uh, YouTube because he's got some pretty cool videos of tuning his car. I take right. this stuff off and then. We gotta turn the AC back on, yes, so can. I'm going to put the time on. lapse. Time lapse. This one with the green on it. Look at Danny's green phone. Hey, um, fine. The deal is, there's, there's, we're, we're gonna screw it up right now. What do you think, Rob? Go for it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. 
We'll explain this in a minute. Brand new intake. Don't worry about this. We drilled a hole in this brand new drill press. Brand new drill press. Brand new intake. And then uh, we're going to clean that edge up. Get one of those uh, little deburring tools? No, but I have a bigger drill bit. Okay. You don't have to spin it. We'll just grab it by hand. All right, here comes the big moment. Does it fit? The this is why go? we... What happened? Where the O-ring go? Does it fit? Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. This is your boost reference if you have a blow-off valve, right? This intake, no heavy. I mean, it had. It had a through-hole. But uh, the through-hole was not 3 8 and this is 3 8 This now fits. So the next thing we got to do is drop it on like that. We'll drop a punch right there. I have a... A centering, I have centering punches over there. Where the O-ring go? It's right here. <laughs> Slow down. Anyway, so like I was saying, <laughs> so we'll put the O-ring on when we're done. We, right now, what we got to do is we got to punch that, drill another hole for the screw so it stays on. But Danny's going to lose his marbles here. So I'm impatient. But if you don't put that screw in, you'll you you'll have a m massive vacuum leak. So that's what we're doing next. So we're going to drill through that thing, and then we will be able, be able to put the screw in it, and uh, yeah, we might need a washer, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Probably going to have to go a little bit deeper, we'll see what happens. Nice stuff at your mark. Okay, okay. We might have to go a little past that mark, I was pretty conservative with that mark. I'll put a washer. Okay. Where's this? All right, Danny did it, look at this. Let me see. Good job, man. Yeah, you did a good job. Don't even try to give me credit. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. That's perfect now. So I'm not sure why it came the way it did. Not quite, uh, not fitting, but whatever. It's whatever. a pretty easy fix. So uh, we did find a little bit of what? Some kind of leftover residue inside. So it's yeah. probably a good idea to blow. Wow, oh, holy. It's probably a good idea to blow. Uh, we'll probably blow it out before we stick it on. Yeah, it yeah, we're definitely gonna blow, blow it out and probably just take it in there and uh, put some soap and water in it and sink and slosh it around, all kinds of stuff. This is a mess. I'll try to ignore that. Let's, let's do that. All right, let's just... Easy. My parts are in there. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the direction? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> We're having a headache with this. What now? Because I had to take these off. We're going to take this piece here off. Yeah. Okay. So we get to mount it. But the screws that they screwed down for here don't fit in the holes. No, so now we got to drill those up. Some assembly required. No batteries included whatsoever. Yes. Some assembly required. All right. Well, let's do that. So let's so basically this piece gets pulled off of your throttle body, your factory throttle body. Your factory throttle body then mounts to this piece. Correct. Um, with the supplied O-ring. With the supplied O-ring, but the bolt holes not quite big enough. No. So we're gonna drill those out. We'll be back. So like we talked about, Danny picked up a new fill rail too, which is a good idea because it's dangerous for that plastic one to crack and catch your car on fire. I've been thinking about that myself. I just keep forgetting. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people have told me on the really critical on the on the razor. I don't know if that's just maybe the guy selling them trying to tell me that or you know. But anyway, okay, so we're swapping over this field rail, the injectors, and then we'll put the intake back in. And here in a little bit, we'll fire this thing up and see if it gets a bunch of plastic in the motor again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Danny's getting ready to put this intake in. Is that right? I feel like I'm getting ready to too. Two two. That's what you wore over here. It's a two two. Yeah, back in. Oh, look at that. All right, we're gonna put you on time lapse. Then he's gonna put this thing together, and we'll give you a shot of it when his giant head's not in the way. <laughs>
soon as Danny's here, as soon as Danny's done right here, I'll show you. But basically, what we're looking at is <clears throat> this guy. Hang on. That guy that Rob's holding, see that? That's got to come off because it doesn't fit in the mix anymore because the intake doesn't have a round connection. Round hole and a square peg. Yeah. Not working. The intake comes with its own square peg. This guy. And that's where the throttle body goes, right? So problem number 47 of that is that this guy right here holds a sensor. Wait, what held the sensor? Hmm. And where does this guy go? This guy went. Oh, okay. Which we can no longer use because we don't have anything around to connect to, right? Right. Or are we missing something? So, where that leaves us is now we have two sensors up here that need to go into this intake. We already made provision for the reference line of the vacuum boost line. And you know what? now, you know what? uh oh, well, I was thinking, hold on. Anyway, so in the meantime, what we're thinking is these two guys got to go in those two holes, which would make sense because they're both the same. So, and yeah. Cut this. So, we'll be right back. That goes in there. Okay, scratch part of that. We're good. We are back in business. We had a second look at this. Uh, Rob had a second look at it, figured out what we were missing, and now it's going to go back together. My old Tetris days. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's do this thing. Uh, we're so close. We're almost back together. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see. I'm kind of curious to see what this intake sounds like. Because, you know, you can hear an intake. Can you? Boop. If we pull the air filter on, we can. <laughs> yeah. I pull the air filter off. I mean, we can. All right. Anyway, that's going back together. And we will be back. Velocity. And if you get one of these, you need to be green like need it to be green like that. I am. He's got the marker. So, <clears throat> we got green everywhere. Green over there, there, there. I mean, I'm sorry, shocker yellow. Shocker yellow. Shocker yellow. Looks green to me, but whatever. What do you think? Green? Yeah. All right, so we got neon green. We got this green. We got that green. We got metal flight green. We got, this is yellow. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We had to do a few things. Nothing crazy, but a few things. Um, the other one does well. The intake comes. The other up. one goes on the other side, and you got to buy their um, intake runner or something. Yeah, all their uh, so it shortens the distance. All their tubes. Yeah. All their, yeah, all their charge tubes. So it shortens the distance from the uh, intake from the uh, intercooler to the intake. Correct. Okay, cool. All right. Well, let's fire this. Um, it runs again. How many times will it run? Every time we get a cycle. I'll give it a couple times. New fuel rail, fill it full of fuel, then try to start it. should open the garage door now but here's the thing that one probably won't blow in half because it's one piece mm -hmm. ours are two piece and before ours as in mine and brandy's blew in half i put a clamp on it the clamp was almost as much as that that guy well not really half as much right mm -hmm. what do you think rob what do you do on yours before it pops i don't know not run that much boost? Yeah. There keep it go. keep it stuck. <laughs> it ain't stuck already. <laughs> All right, anyway, that's the deal. Uh, I think that calls for a 0 to 60 celebration, show, celebration soon. Not sure when that'll be, but, you know, see if it made any difference. A tenth, you know, an average. Of course, the problem is our numbers were all over the board last time, but, you know. I mean, it's 93 degrees outside. Uh, it's not as early in the morning. The asphalt's hot. Yeah, today's not a good day, probably. Yeah, probably not. 
All right, we're out. We will come back for that Zoda 60 soon. Right? Yes. Bye. Bye.